on that complicated status, joining me right now, Republican Congressman Leonard Lance of New Jersey. He's a member of the Moderate, Moderate Tuesday Group, a group at the center of these health care talks and negotiations. Congressman, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having me, Kate. All right, so it is Thursday at 1121. Where is your vote on health care right now? I, I am not in favor of the proposal. I was not in favor of it before the Easter break, and uh, I'm not in favor of it today. I think we need to lower premiums in this country, and I don't think this bill does that. And uh, I would urge our Democratic colleagues to come to the table because the exchanges are not doing well, Kate. And I think that there's a responsibility for both sides to come to the table, and that includes the Democrats. What do you think of this threat? We're just hearing from um, the Democratic whip, Steny Hoyer, that Democrats say Hoyer is urging Democrats to oppose um, the vote to keep the government funded if Republicans would bring a vote on health care this week. I think they're two separate issues, Kate. And uh, I did not favor shutting down the government when President Obama was president. And I would hope the Democrats don't favor shutting down the government now that President Trump is president. There are essential public services that are required to be funded, for example, payment of the troops in the field. And, and so I would hope that we could vote on a continuing resolution. And then regarding the health care issue, I've given you my point of view, but I think they are separate issues. Well, what do you think the chances are that Republicans will call a vote in the next two days? Uh, I'm not part of the whip team and I'm not in leadership and so I do not know and uh, I would defer to Speaker Ryan on that matter but certainly I think first and foremost we have to fund the government and and that is a hard deadline this weekend. So Congressman Tom MacArthur, he's a fellow Republican and also a fellow Republican from New Jersey. He's been kind of spearheading um, some of the negotiations for this new amendment. Here is how he describes what they're working on this morning. Listen to this. Well, my goal has been to try to get everyone who was struggling with this bill to, to get to yes. And the only way to do that is to balance these two things, bring costs down for people and make sure we protect the vulnerable people. He says that's what's in the amendment. Where is he wrong? Um, I'm sure uh, the congressman is trying to work to that end, but I do not think that the amendment achieves that goal. And certainly, I have always run for re-election on the belief that we have to preserve the right of people to have health care coverage, even if they have a pre-existing condition. And I think that should be a, true across the United States. And I do not think that states should have the ability in any way to wave out of that. I, I think there is a right in this country to be able to purchase health care coverage at an affordable cost accessibility and affordability and I think that is true for those with pre-existing conditions in our society. MacArthur's a member of the Tuesday group and he went and made this deal on his own. Do you feel cut out? Um, I'm a member of the Tuesday group but but nobody negotiates for me Kate and um, I um, uh, I'm of the belief that we should move forward in this area in a bipartisan capacity. Do you think that how this is going do you think it threatens to break up the Tuesday group? Uh, I, no, I don't believe that that will happen, and um, I will continue to be a member of the, of the Tuesday group. And our real leader is Congressman Dent, my colleague and close friend from Pennsylvania. What do you think the chances are that this version of the bill, though, sees a vote? What's your gut? Uh, I, I, I don't want to guess. I, I, I'm not sure when that will occur. But um, I think first and foremost, we have to fund the government of the United States. So you would, all, if Democrats would hold up, hold up health care with regard to funding the government, you would support not bringing a vote on health care in order to keep the government open, yes? Um, um, I, I think it's in the discretion of Speaker Ryan when that bill on health care is brought to the okay. floor, and I do not presume to advise the Speaker. I think it's extremely important, essential, that we fund the government of the United States, and I would urge my Democratic colleagues uh, to vote for that. Congressman Leonard Lance, thank you so much, Congressman. Appreciate the time. Thank you, Kate.